So now question that is, how do you replace this value? So I want to replace this num1 and num2 with the actual values, right? So I don't want num1, num2 anymore. I want 4 and 7 there. Now how can we do this? In fact, in result also I want 11. So what we can do is, we can simply add a dollar symbol there. The moment you put dollar, you can see that the color has changed now. There's no more green. It is, uh, it's black. I don't know, I'm not good with colors anyway. So you can see the different colors, right? So you can put dollar symbol just before the variable name. So inside a string, if you put a dollar symbol, it will, it will treat it as a variable, right? What if you put dollar symbol before off? And of course, it will give you some error because we don't have any variable colors off, right? So normal string will be in a normal, normal format. And the moment you have some variables, you can put dollar symbol there. And if you run this code, you can see we got the output. Okay, it's taking, taking some time. And you can see we got the output. The addition of 4 and 7 is 11. It's that simple. So instead of going for can concatenation, if you if you remember in Java, we used to work with concatenation operators, right? So instead of that, we can use a dollar symbol here. Now, if you have a normal variable, then dollar symbol makes sense directly, right? <clears throat> but what if you are creating an object here let's 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 go just beyond just after that let's create a object of alien now, if you remember we already have a class here called as alien so i will say var i will use my name naveen colon i'm an alien right i would simply say equal to an alien right so we got a alien object here now we don't have the default values for this so i will set specify some names so we'll say naveen dot name i will assign a name here we'll say okay i will assign my name as Therisco. and then I will, I want to print this value. So I will say, syst uh, not system, oh, you know, I love Java so much, I can write Java code anywhere in Kotlin as well. <laughs> so, yeah, so I want to print this. Okay, so I will say the, okay, we'll say alien, not alien, alien name is colon. And if I want to print my name, so I will say Navin dot name. Now this will not work, right? This will print Navin dot name as it is. Now, can we use dollar symbol here? The moment you use dollar symbol, you can see the color of Naveen is black, which means that this is treated as a variable. But what about this one? This name is treated as name itself. Example, if I run this code, so you can see we got the output of, first of all, we got, it is treating this Naveen as an object. And when you try to print the object, it will print the hash code, right? And then it is printing name as it is. I want to specify, hey, these two are together. How can we do that? So we have to use a curly brackets. So if you are using a normal variable, we can directly go with uh, a name. Uh, we can directly go with the dollar symbol. But the moment you have an object in which you have some properties to mention both together, we have to use curly brackets. And after doing this, if you run this code, you can see we got the output as alien name is Telisco. That means you can use this curly brackets to fetch the value or the object values. So that's how you can work with strings. When you want to print a string and if you, when you want to print the variable as well, you can use this dollar symbol. So you can use dollar here and we can use dollar and curly brackets when it comes to objects. So yeah, that's it from this video. In the next video, we'll try to, uh, we'll try to work with if else condition. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.